Adding a stencil pattern to your cabinets, walls, and furniture is a beautiful way to personalize your home. And I'll show you how to do it. I'm Megan Carter, and this is Ask the Decorator. When you stencil a pattern, you'll need five things. A flat circular brush or a sponge brush, stencils, paint, painter's tape, and a dabbing plate. To start, find the proper placement for your stencil. Once you've found where you want your stencil to be, tape it up with painter's tape. Then dip your brush into the paint and wipe off all excess paint on your dabbing plate. You want the brush to have barely any paint on it, which is known as a dry brush. If there is too much paint, the paint will leak under the stencil and ruin your design. Once your brush is ready, start dabbing your brush over the stencil. Don't jab too hard. You might accidentally shift your stencil. Your first dabs will look very light. That is fine. You want to slowly build up the color. Layering on the paint will give your design a textured look. To create more texture, use different types of jabs. For example, you could use a circular motion. If your stencil has parts that pop up while stenciling, hold them down with your finger to keep paint from seeping underneath. Once you have finished dabbing on the paint, take your stencil off and wash it before you use it again. If you have a stencil for each color in your design, wait for the paint to dry completely before using the next stencil. Once the paint is dry, repeat the stenciling process. When you're done, don't worry if your lines aren't crisp. The tiny bleeds give the pattern texture and character. Plus, no one will notice them. They will only see a beautiful stenciled pattern. Looks awesome, doesn't it? I'm Megan Carter, and this is Ask the Decorator. For more decorating tips and information on new decorating products, visit my website, askthedecorator.com.